Welcome back fellow mobile gamers, my name is Nimblethor and you've chosen to tune back into my mobile gaming quest which is this journey I'm on of finding the very best mobile games. Now today we are checking out Hearthstar and Hearthstar is a bit of a hidden gem honestly, especially if you like platform puzzle games and this game was recommended to me by one of you guys, so thank you very much to Matthew Kale for the great recommendation. Be sure to let me know if you find folks have other awesome mobile games I should check out. I love to get recommendations from you guys. So, Hearthstar isn't exactly a new game, but it did receive an update adding 10 extra levels on July 3rd, 2019. So at least it's still being actively supported. And for those of us who enjoy this genre of games, this is a retro platformer without all the fluff of loot boxes, heavy monetization, and other, frankly, anti-consumer systems. In the Android version, we do get shown a few instantly skippable video advertisements every once in a while, but on iOS, there's a $2 in-app purchase to remove these ads completely from the game. So the monetization checks out, and that's a great start, but the core concept of this game is what really dragged me into it. So the concept is that we control two characters that we can switch between at any point in time. The blue male character can only walk on blue tiles, and the red female character can only walk on red tiles. But our goal, though, is to get both of them safely to the finish line. And the way we achieve this is by constantly switching back and forth between the two characters to figure out the amazing platforming puzzles that are thrown at us. The game does start out very easily, maybe even too easy for some of you guys, but then around level 25 to 30 and then upwards, things slowly start to become more and more difficult. It's still not, and it will never be, a hardcore puzzle game though, but the levels are very well designed and although relatively easy, it does make the game a joy to play and experience. Alright, so now that we've completed some of the easier levels, let's try our luck in this level here. I do believe this is level 25. This is the furthest I've gone in this game. So I don't know how exactly to finish this level here. I assume we'll be able to just jump up here, open this gate, and then this was actually very easy, wasn't it? I feel like there's something I'm missing here, but I think we're actually able to finish this level here, level 25. That's pretty nice. So level 25 wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it would be, but let's have a look at level 26 instead. And this one is actually tricky because look at this, there's both a red tile and a blue tile above us here. So we have to find some way to get to the other side and then go up. Can we do that? I guess we have to jump on top of each other. Uh, let's do it once at a time. So I guess we first have to go with the red female character over here and open this one. Then we can jump down there, get up here with the blue guy. And is this simply it? Let's have a look. Yes, it looks like that actually opened up for the last gate over there. So now with the red female character first, let's see if we can get to the goal. There we go. And we're gonna run the risk of just trying to jump down here. Yes, <laughs> we could indeed do that. Look at this. We finished level 26 and now we're on to level 27. Now look at this though. With the latest update, there's actually 60 levels in total to go through and we are at level 27. So we're about halfway down through the game at this point and this has taken me just about, I would say, maybe 30 to 60 minutes or so. It hasn't really taken that long to, to play until this stage. So that means you can probably expect just about two hours, maybe three or four hours of gameplay out of this game. So if you like it and you're on iOS, I would absolutely recommend you guys to buy one of the inner purchases to support the developer. But even if you don't want to do that, and if you're on Android and you don't have that opportunity, you're not even going to see that many advertisements before you've completed this game. And overall, this is just a very easy game to recommend for me. So look at this. This is getting a bit more tricky now. I think we got the, yeah, we got the first gate open there actually. So maybe that is all we have to do. We just have to be very quick at jumping at just the right time and then get back on our platform. Let's try doing it again here with the male blue character. So this is what we gotta do. We gotta run over here. Oh no, no, wait, I failed. I failed. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Uh, this time let's start with the let's start with the red character so we got to move over here on this platform and then with the red character we can jump on top of this guy jump up and open that one and then onto our red platform move the blue guy off of here jump on top of the female up we go and ta da we've opened both of the gates now we just got to figure out how we can i guess we can do it like this oh no wait no no <laughs> No, we were so close. We were so close guys. Oh man. Okay, let's try let's try this once more I think we were doing the right thing, but I accidentally I think switched to the wrong character at the wrong time there At least something went wrong and uh, we, can, we can do this now at least we know what to do So jump on top of this guy jump up and open this one look at how fast we are at this point So now what I have to do I think is I just have to jump on top of wait What is it? I have to do uh, I think I see it now. So we've got to move this guy over here. We can jump on top of the red platform, on top of the blue guy, and then 
hopefully we'll be able to jump into safety. Let's see if all of that jumping and description made sense. Uh, over here and... No, wait, we can't actually jump all the way in there? That's kind of strange. Oh, wait, guys. Guys, we were overcomplicating it. <laughs> we could have just jumped directly from these platforms and into the finish line. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just have to get your head around how to solve these puzzles and then it gets very easy once you, you know, once you get it. So let's see if we can finish the next stage and let's get into the mobile gaming news of the day because I've got something really cool for you guys. It's more of a fact than a news really, but I think you guys will enjoy it because just a few days ago, a new report indicated that Tencent's mobile MOBA called Honor of Kings was the highest earning mobile game of the first half of 2019, sitting at 720 million US dollars in revenue. And that's without counting China's third party Android stores, by the way, which is the game's last largest market, at least China is, and there are lots of these third-party Android stores in the Chinese market. The next best earning game was Fate Grand Order, sitting at 628 million US dollars in revenue, then came Monster Strike at 566 million dollars in revenue, and then at number 4 and 5 we've got Candy Crush Saga and PUBG Mobile. These kind of numbers are just very difficult to relate to, I mean, especially when you compare it to the amount of money a game like today's Heart Star, you know, an indie game has made. I really wish there'd be more money going to smaller indie developers as well, but at least one way of supporting these indie developers is that if you like their games, you should just share their games, talk about them, share them with your friends, tell your friends to go download them, just like I'm sharing this game with you guys here today on YouTube. And with those words, let's round it up for today. I really hope you had a great time watching today's video, and that you'll be back for more tomorrow, of course. So until next time, just keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around.